Hi everyone! In this video, we'll see how to use Yee the custom thank you page for WooCommerce to customize the thank you page your customers see right after placing an order in your shop. We're going to see how to configure the plugin and how to insert text, coupons, order details, and absence section, and more to the thank you page. But before we get into it, let me remind you that we'll list the link to the plugin, documentation, and live demo in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out. And now, let's get to it. Okay, so here we have several examples of the thank you pages you could create with this plugin. For example, let's select this one. We have this thank you image, thank you, your order has been received, the order details, the products, the customer details, where to call for customer service, and items that the customer may also like. And also a section to share the purchase on their social media accounts. So let's go to the plugin panel and see all the options available so you can create a thank you page like this one for your store. Let's go to Yid, custom thank you page. So here we're going to find these six sections, thank you pages, general options, customization, rules, your store tools, help, and the option to collapse. In the first section, thank you pages, you're going to find a list of all the thank you pages that you have created for your store. You'll find bulk actions here to delete several pages together and you also find here an option to preview the page, edit it, duplicate it or delete each one permanently. And here's the name that you enter when creating the page to identify it. And by clicking here, you're going to be able to add a new page. So if I click here, I get these options to either create a new page from scratch or add an existing page to the list. If I click here, I get to create a whole new page from scratch. But let's go back and I'm going to edit one of these pages. Let's choose this one. So here we have an image. This is a paragraph. We have the order overview. This is a block that is added by the plugin. We have the order table here. This is also another one of the blocks added by the plugin. Then we have the customer details block. This one is just a paragraph. This is an upsell block and a social box block. So all of the blocks we have seen on this page, except for the image and the paragraph, are added by the plugin. And let's go to the general options section. This is where you're going to configure the general settings of the plugin. Here you have the option to choose what to show when the order is placed. You can show the default WooCommerce thank you page. You can show a custom thank you page. And if you do select that option, you're going to be able to choose the default thank you page here. This is the list of all the thank you pages I have created on the site. And you have the option to redirect users to a specific URL and you can set the link here. And then there's an option to delete plugin options that are saved in the database in case you uninstall it. Now let's see the customization section. If I expand this, I'm going to find all these sections. Order details, customer info, PDF, PDF templates, upsells, coupon, and social box. Let's go to order details first. So here we're going to find customization options for the order details section that can be added to the thank you page. We're going to find options to select the title font color, the size, the font weight, we can hide the order again button if we want to. The layout of the order info. You can choose to show the info in a single line or in multiple lines. And you can choose to show the product thumbnails in the product table. And here in the shortcode section, you're going to find the shortcodes that you can use to build that thank you page. This one is to include the order details. And this one is to include the product table. You can just copy this and paste it into your page. Then we have the customer info section. And here you're going to find the customization options for the customer info section that you can add to the thank you page. Similar to the previous section, but for the customer info section. Again, font color, size, weight. Here you can choose the alignment. Here you can choose the layout of the shipping and billing info. It can be compact in a single block or traditional in two columns. And then you can find the shortcode here to include the customer info into your page. Then in PDF, you're going to find the options for the PDF section that you can add to your thank you page. You can choose the label for the PDF button, the button colors, the border radius, and here's an important option. We have the PDF options section. Here we can decide if we want to use the default PDF template for customers to download or print. If I choose this, I can enable an option to show a logo on the PDF file and upload the logo. 
before moving on let me remind you to like this video subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so you know every time we have a new video for you now let's continue with the video decide if i want to show the order header table the order details table the customer details add a custom message to the footer and you can also preview the pdf so this would be the default pdf customers can print or download we have logo customer info order info products table total amount let's go back and if i select create and choose a custom template instead i can choose the template to use here and of course here's the shortcode to insert the pdf button you can copy it and paste it into your page now if we select this option we're going to have this other subsection pdf template this is where we can create those custom pdf templates for customers to see let's click on it so here we're going to find all the pdf templates created right now we have this simple template which we can edit or duplicate and if i click on add new i can choose the template first i have all these options to choose from for example this one you see it changes here this one let's keep this one selected i can name the template if i click here i can see all the blocks available to add to this template we have the usual paragraph heading and list we have the image the sign options and here we have the blocks that are added by the plugin we have the order number product stable totals payment method order date customer information coupon code and paragraph so for example here we have the customer info this was added with one of our blocks and i can edit this for example i can remove these ones and we're going to find here to the right all of the placeholders available so i can for example copy this again and paste it here and there we go you can edit all of the information here then here we have an image that we can keep delete or replace with any other image like a logo image for example we have these other blocks added by the plugin, as well as these three. We can save the draft here, see a preview, or publish this PDF template. Let's see a preview. Okay, so here we have a preview of the PDF template. We have the customer information, the order number, date, the image that we have in this PDF template. You can, of course, change all of this. We have the product table, the total, the coupon, and another image here. So this is basically what customers would get. Now let's go back. We can save the draft, go back to templates list, and we're going to find it right here. Since I didn't publish it yet, I have it as draft. Then in app sales, we're going to find customization options for the upsell sections that we can add to the thank you page. This is a great option to show customers other products that they may also like after they place the order. We can set the number of products to show, how many products to show per row, the default order of the products. We can order them by name, date, or just randomly. We can choose the order, ascending or descending. We can choose the type of products to promote. You can choose custom products, which is why we have these products right here. You can also show related products, featured or best sellers, but we're using these for the upsell section. Then in style, you can choose the title of the section, the font color, the size, the weight, and the alignment. And of course, you have the shortcode to add the upsell section to the thank you page. Then in coupon, you're going to find options for the coupon section you can add to the thank you page. You can choose the title color, font weight and size and you're going to find the shortcode to add the coupon box to the page then in social box you're going to find the options for the social box section where you can enable facebook twitter pinterest and whatsapp and then you have the title style options section where you can choose the title of the section the color font weight size and alignment and then in the tab style section you can choose the accent color this is to use for the active tab and icon the share button colors and the border radius and then in url shortening settings you can enable bitly shortening to automatically shorten the urls and you can enter the bitly api key here if you don't know how to get it you can find more information by clicking here and then of course the shortcode so you can add the social box to your thank you page then we have the rules section here we can configure settings to override the global rules and show different thank you pages based on specific conditions. 
I have some created, but let's click on that rule to see the options. We can set the rule name, test. We can choose the rule type. We have products, categories, or payment methods. This is basically the condition that we're going to take into account to show the different thank you page. Let's select products and we need to select a product to show this thank you page. I'm going to select this product. So here we can choose when an order is placed following this condition. So including this product in the order, we can show the default WooCommerce thank you page, show a custom thank you page. If we select this option, we get to choose which thank you page we want to show or redirect users to a specific URL. And we can set the link here. I'm going to select this option and I'm going to select another thank you page, not the default one. And you can set the priority here. This is basically to determine which one of the rules you have created to apply if there are multiple rules that match the condition. So with the rule that we have created here, we're overriding the global setting to show the default thank you page. And we're going to show this thank you page if this product is included in the order. I'm going to add rule and you can see the rule here. It is enabled, but I can disable it anytime. You can edit it, duplicate it, delete it, or move it around. We can see the name of each one of these rules, the type, we have product and payment method, the custom thank you page or link selected, if this is enabled or not. And we have block actions here to enable, disable, or delete several rules at once. Then we have your store tools. So here you're going to find tools to improve user experience, increase conversions, and loyalize customers. These are great options to use together with Yid custom thank you page for WooCommerce. For example, if you use Yid WooCommerce wishlist as well, you're going to also allow customers to create list of products they want and allow them to share them with family and friends. You can also choose gift cards, so you can also sell gift cards in your shop to increase earnings and attract new customers. You can see all of the plugins that you can use with this plugin here. And then in the help section, you're going to find the link to the documentation so you can learn how the plugin works and how to configure the settings. You can check the frequently asked questions in case you have any doubts. And you're going to find the link to submit a ticket to request help from our developers in case you need it. And that's it. Now you know how to use Yid custom thank you page for WooCommerce to create custom thank you pages for your shop. Okay, so that's how the plugin works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.